morning guys welcome to day 17 of the hilltop shop as you can probably tell i forgot to film an intro for this day so this is the intro i also forgot to turn the camera on when we installed the door but the door is all installed and so now today we're going to finish doing the rigid foam around the building and then also install the z flashing and get started on some of the trims for vinyl siding here we're starting to do some cuts to go around the corners with the Z flashing. So I got my phone open there on the table. You can see I had to look at uh, Kyle from RR Buildings. He shows a really good way of cutting these metal trims around the corners. So I just kind of followed along what he was doing and I'll try and explain as best I can in the next few clips here on how to do it. So basically I made three lines going straight up there. They represent the width of the Z trim, which means those lines are two and a quarter apart from each other. So after making those three cuts, it leaves you with those two tabs and I'm just bending those down to make the next cuts easier. Now I'm going to cut a 45 degree angle from the corner of that one tab to the center of the two tabs. You can see that pencil mark I made on the top of my trim there. So I'm just going to connect the corner of that tab to the end of my pencil mark. Now I'm going to take my longer shears and cut a straight line right in between the tabs through my pencil mark to cut off that whole one tab and the 45 degree angle that I made. Next I'm going to cut the top part of the Z flashing off, the part that would go against the wall on that last tab, leaving the top part or the part that would cover the top of the foam I guess, uh, and the 45 degree angle. Finally, I'm going to grab my benders here and I'm going to grab the very front, the little kicker part, and bend that over into a 90 degree angle. See, so it kind of, it kind of takes away that, that roll, like you said, but that corner you want is... Put, you want to put a rivet on it? Fully, I think. I think once you get a shingle nail here, here, and here, like feel how tight it is when you when you bend it over. Like once you get a nail, bang and bang. Fuck, I think that's money ticket. And actually, look underneath it. I think I'm gonna take a little bit more a slice right here so it doesn't bottom out. Let me see it. <coughs> as fast as jerky you. <coughs> Gloves on. I think that's the fucking money shot, isn't it? I took too much as a hole in the front of it, but isn't that the fucking money shot right there? Mm -hmm. Stop saying that on the camera. That's fucking money. Ah, uh, good, good. Floyd, money. I noticed that on one of your last videos. I was like, I wish he would stop with that. Term. What, what did I say? Money shot. You say it a lot. <laughs> Money, 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 money. I'll just do it right here. You good? Just wait, let me see the mark. Yeah, we're good. Middle. Down, down, right there. It's got to be good here, doesn't it? Let's check it, see what it does. Yeah, I'm sitting on it. Touching the line, so. Right there. Right there. Get close to that. So, what we're doing here is we're using a board that's cut to the right length between the Z flashing and that line that we snapped in the previous videos, the level line all the way around the building. And we're just using that to guide us on where to put this Z flashing. <laughs> you can't hold it off there. <laughs> that's, staying, that's staying in the video, by the way. <laughs> right there. Yeah, I guess you are used. Right there, pull it up. Is it touching the board? 
so. Here's the time lapse of us putting up the Z flashing all the way around the building. We're really trying to make sure that it stays level with that level line because it's going to help us install the starter strip uh, when we go to do siding. So the next job here is to finish putting the paper around the building. So we put it on top of the Z flashing so the water runs, if it gets behind the siding, it runs down and over that Z flashing. Now we're starting to do some of the trims for vinyl siding. This stuff here is called J-Trim or J-Mold or J-Channel. So I do a way better job of explaining what I'm doing and how I do these windows in the next video. So I'm just going to play this through with some music and I'll explain in the next video how to do it. So it's the end of day 17 here at the hilltop shop. You can see us starting to put some trims on, corners, just basically getting ready for the vinyl siding. So that's what we're going to be doing next video. Thanks for watching, we'll see you guys next time.